Hello YouTube and today um, my name is Seth and today we are going to be oh well that's growing outside um I'm going to be showing you how to organize your school binder. So let's get into the video. Yay! And of course, so right now I'm rocking an MTV Emo Bopper. I don't even know what this is called. But anyways, we are going to start with um Oh, uh, like decorating your binder. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so to do this, the first step, um, you just need a binder, like a regular binder, and you need a printer so you can print off a slip to put in to the binder. So um, first things first, you print this off and you put it in and you also need to know what you're going to use the binder for so for this specific binder I'm using it for reading and writing class um so let me go ahead and put this in okay so that part is done um so then now this is your main binder and if you want to you can have two main binders which is what I have so first you need a set of dividers um uh, it doesn't matter how many you have. I just have eight because that's what they told me to have. And you also need the templates, or if you just want to write on top of them. Then you also need filler paper. It doesn't matter if it's college ruled or anything. You just need it. And for math, if you want graph paper, that's fine. And then I just have a um, plastic cover sheet protector for um, any important things. I have a bunch of them. So let's move on to the inside of the binder. It has pockets um, right here and right here. And so what you need to do right now is you need to put this for the first day of school, either in the back pocket or in the front pocket. I would prefer the back pocket. So whenever that's in the back pocket, um, you need to think of what you want in the back and what you want in the front. So, what I want in the back is filler paper. And so, just open up the binder. And, and, and yeah. So, that's the filler paper. And that's just for like essays or notes or something. Then you want to go ahead and put in your dividers, and you don't need dividers um, if you don't want dividers, but it's like a really, really good option. And so then you need to put in your sheet protector, and then close the binder. And my binder has this little slot right here, so you can slide in a piece of paper for the side. And um, so I just took my label maker and I just put it on top. So that is the, your first binder option. Then I have the math binder, which is set up the same way. Um, this is also one and a half. And... I have my sheet protector, so this is what it's going to look like after. And I have it different, so I have the templates in the front this time. So I have my sheet protector, my eight tab dividers, and then I have my filler paper. So I just set up my um, two main binders the same, and it has this. And they're both one and a half inch. So, yippee. And, yeah. So that, those are the ways you can set up your two main binder binders. So, yeah. I'm going to go get your other options. I'll be right back. So, your next option is to have smaller binders. Um... And just have more of them. So this is um, what I did. And these ones do not need dividers. Um, all that they need is the sheet protector and filler paper. 
so toilet paper is already ripping which is fine but um so this is one inch and i knew that i needed a smaller binder for social studies and for science i knew that i needed smaller binders and so i um got the one inch so the way that you set up the one inch is you just print out your thing, put it in there, and you can put what period it is. I didn't. I only did that on my two main binders. So, um, and so then what you need inside, this one does not have a template or dividers, so all you have is the sheet. And if you would like to put your schedule in the front, that's what I did. And then you have the filler paper. And I already wrote um, the date and notes for the first day of class. Um, so that's third option. Then this one doesn't have a schedule in it, which doesn't really matter. And then... I'm going to show you an option for people that do not like binders, and they just would rather carry around a bunch of folders. So this is the binder option, and this is how many binders I'm going to be using this year. Um, so the other option is to put, is to have a bunch of folders. So if you are a person that has had binders in the past and just didn't like them and you are finally have the freedom to not buy a binder, then this is your other option. So here we have folders and what you need to do is you need to get the five star ones so that you can keep all of your things together for that one class the five star ones have this pocket for index cards and also you um can put papers in the prongs and they have these tabs to keep your papers in so and they're really durable so, this is your other option. So, basically what you would do is, I'm going to take some filler paper out of a binder, real quick, an old binder, um, and I'm going to be reusing, um, so what you need to do is you need to take a little bit, just a small amount of filler paper put them into the holes, which I'm not going to do that, but, and then you can put your dividers, and it's just a slimmer way to carry around all of your papers. So, yeah, you would put paper, um, dividers, and all that stuff, and it's just, well, you wouldn't really need a divider, because you would just, this, this would be a divider, um, to divide up all of your classes. So, that's what you would do if you do not like binders. And, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, click that like button, button and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And, yeah. Bye, guys.